Hey everyone, um, I got my Everlast PowerTig um, Power 210 EXT up and running. Um, I got to make this quick because my battery is almost dead in my camera. Um, playing around on some aluminum here. Never TIG welded before and learning the hard way, but let me show you what I've got going on as far as progress. Okay, first let me show you the mess that I've been making over here and get this glare to get off of here. Some of the, a couple of these are not too bad, these two, but then like over here I was having a really hard time and I'll tell you what I've, I'll share with you what I realized I was doing here and this was just to see if I can weld some tube to that and that was a disaster. I managed to do it on this side but it looks horrible. So anyway, this top bead right here is the one I just laid. I don't think any of these are too bad. My hand started getting hot on this one. I started running into problems there with, you know, keeping a rhythm. But this one actually looks pretty good here too. This one here. So anyway, um, what I noticed is when I first started to do it, I had a tendency to angle the, the torch. I was, I was coming in with the torch kind of like at this angle and I was having a lot of problems. The straighter up I kept it, the cleaner the welds were. So um, I did some steel. This was, the steel was much, much easier to get going. I can't get this to focus. There we go. Um, but it needs to be clean, obviously. Um, I like it. I've got a lot more playing around to do with this machine. Um, I'm using the foot pedal. Um, I, I definitely, definitely like it. I've contaminated the tungsten quite a bit. and Again, a lot more playing around to do. Love the machine so far. Um, when you run the foot pedal, things are real easy as far as the setup is concerned. So there's not a lot of adjustments. You've got post flow, um, pre-flow, post flow, and then your, your max amperage. Um, uh, you have high frequency start and you also have your, your pulse. And I haven't messed with pulse yet, so I just want to master what I'm doing here as far as laying down beads and, and figuring out what I need to do here before I start trying to get all advanced. So, anyways, thanks for watching. As always, subscribe, comment, like, and definitely stay tuned because there's going to be a lot more videos on this machine. Thanks for watching.